Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing a look inspired by the queen herself, Miss Ariana Grande. That's why I got my high pony in right now. I'm going to be taking inspiration from her latest music video, the Seven Rings music video. Ugh, it was so good, I love that song. So I'm gonna kinda go with that pink and blue vibe and we're just gonna roll with it. We have a lot of white going on. Got a white shirt, white background, white girl. <laughs> Alrighty guys, if you would like to see how I achieve the look that I'm gonna do, then just keep on watching. <laughs> Alrighty, so two hours later we have one eye complete. I actually had to do this three different times um, because the shadows were giving me some difficulty. So hopefully it'll be a lot easier on this side now that I know what I'm doing. So let's roll into it. So I'm first gonna prime with my P. Louise base. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on a synthetic brush like this. And then I'm just gonna basically rub this all over the eye. And then I will kind of run this under the lower lash line since we're gonna do that before we do our face. So I wanna have like a little bit of a base under there. Oh, I just wiped my contact with that. Great, now I can't see. Hey guys, welcome to my voiceover. So basically, we're just gonna dip into the Lunar Beauty Life is a Drag palette, and then we're also gonna be using the James Charles X Morphe palette to create this look. Um, I first go in with the pink shade in the Lunar Beauty palette. I just prefer this pink. It works a little bit easier for me, um, but you'll see in a minute I do dip I do dip into the James Charles pink just to kind of blend everything out. So we're going to start by depositing the product on the outer corners then blending it into the crease. And I'm using a very small like blender brush here. This is where I'm going in with the James pink just to make things a little bit more vibrant and just to kind of blend out the edges. And then I dip into there's like a cranberry shade in the James palette. So that's what I'm doing there. Just depositing the product on the outer corner and then blending in like we always do. Nothing new here. And we're using the same brush to do that. And then I think I'm dipping into the dark purple and the brush that I'm using is basically the same. It's a little bit different. It's a JH40 brush, I believe. And I think I'm dipping into the purple. Erica, what are you doing? Um, okay, yes, I am dipping into the purple because I'm talking about the purple was giving me difficulty on the other eyes. You can kind of see it looks a little wonky. So I'm dipping into the darkest purple in the James palette and we're gonna do the same technique we did with the other colors, depositing it on the outer corner and slowly blending it into the crease. For this color, I liked to use padding motions, not too much swiping because it was a better color payoff that way. So I'm just playing around with that and blending things out just to add some more depth. And then once there's virtually no product left on the brush, I'll kind of sweep it through the crease. All right, that is it for this voiceover. We'll be back to the regular recording in three, two, one. Okay, so I'm dipping into the dark purple and James Charles palette. And as I said, this is the shade that was giving me difficulty and it is not terrible on this side, but it's not great. Like you can kind of see where it's patchy and like not, it's like, Picking up there, but not picking up there. I'm gonna roll with it because that's what we're gonna do. Okay, going back in with that other brush that we were using the pink on, I'm dipping back into the baby pink and I'm just gonna blend in here again. Before I bring this up higher, I'm going to add a little bit of a brow bone highlight. I'm gonna use my Ofra Cosmetics Glazed Donut Highlighter. We're just gonna pop that right up here and then we'll continue to blend the shadows up. I just like the way that this looks when they kind of like merge together versus doing it at the end when I'm blowing my eyeshadow up all the way. I don't know, I just feel like it looks more blended. All right, dipping back into the hot pink and the James palette. We're just gonna blend that up. Okay, cool, I'm actually happy with the way that this is looking right now. Um, that purple is still driving me crazy, as you guys can see where it kind of like stuck to, but it's okay, it's not the end of the world. We will work through it. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do this little cut liner situation, cut crease, liner, whatever you wanna call it. I saw this technique from another makeup artist and I thought it was really cool, so I wanted to try it and it's actually pretty easy to do. Okay, so I'm taking my P. Louise base again. Just gonna put that on the back of my hand. Boop. And I'm gonna use a little flat synthetic brush and just tap into the product. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut my crease higher than I normally would so that way we can fit in this liner situation. So the way that I'm gonna tell that is that I'm gonna look forward and see kind of where the folds in my eyes are and make sure that I can still see the blue, like if that makes sense. So if my eyes are tilted down, you can still see the blue because it's not totally covered in that crease. 
Does that make sense? So I'm just gonna go in and stamp this on. When you're cutting your crease, you want to stamp instead of swipe because that's gonna blend in with the eyeshadows and not be as opaque. So I'm just gonna start small. I can always make it bigger, so we're just gonna start little. I don't know why today, but I've been so shaky today. Like doing this, I'm like <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm happy with the way that that looks. So let's do the actual like ombre blue liner. So this part is really cool. Um, where's my little brush? So I'm going to take a little packer brush like this. This is a M213 brush. It's just like teeny tiny little packer brush. And I'm going to dip into the bright blue in the James palette, this like neon blue. I'm going to put that on my brush and we're just gonna pack that right in. All right, so I'm going to take it to about there and then I'm going to dip into the two other blue shades. It's like a periwinkle and then a darker blue and kind of mix those both. And that, we're gonna merge together. Okie dokie. So we're gonna go back in and cut one more time. Okay, cool, I feel good with that. So what I'm gonna do is take my brush and I have a little washcloth right here and I'm just gonna put like, wipe all the product off and we're just gonna buff that edge in boop, boop, boop. now we're gonna go into the life's a drag palette and i'm going to dip into the shade b i love the shade from this palette it is such a pretty shade i'm gonna take that on a little synthetic brush and we are gonna set everything literally the whole time i've been doing this look i've had um seven rings stuck in my head and i've just been singing it over and over again okay now i'm going to take this this is the kat von d alchemist holographic palette it's like a little holographic highlighters and there is one that is reflective pink so i'm going to take that and I'm going to put that right on top oh yeah just makes it like reflect pink i don't know if you guys can see that on camera i never realized how hard it was to like take video and photo of makeup. Like it's really hard to get all the detail and the colors. And sometimes I like look at the photo and I'm like, that looks like crap compared to what it looks like in person. Okay, this eye is going a lot smoother than this one. So I'm really happy about that. All right, let's go and blend out those edges. I'm going to take that JH40 brush that we've been using and let's dip into, I'm gonna mix a combination of that cranberry shade and the dark, yeah, the dark purple, the cranberry shade and the dark purple from the James palette. And we're just gonna do, 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 do. Moving on to the lash line, I'm going to take a blue coal. This one is from NYX. I'm just gonna pop that in at my waterline. And then I'm actually gonna set that with an eyeshadow. I'm going to take the bright blue from the James palette and we're gonna set that right on top and then i'm going to take the periwinkle shade in the palette and we're going to run that nice and tight to the lash line taking a little pencil brush dipping back into the bright blue and we're gonna basically just run that everywhere and i am going to bring that up into the pink and the purple just to kind of connect everything okay now we're going to do mascara and lashes really quick we're going to curl these babies and then using my Big Shot Mascara, the waterproof. I'm just gonna coat. I'm just doing a really light coat. I just wanna make my lashes black. So that way they blend with the false ones. I'll do the lower lash line while we're here. The lashes we're gonna use are Lily Lashes in the style Okr. They look like that. Now we're gonna move on to the face so we're not looking crazy. I'm going to prime using my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. And I actually heard that there is a dupe for this. It's like an e.l.f. primer and it's like $8. I wanna get my hands on that. For foundation, I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender Foundation. And at first, I'm actually gonna go in with a little brush since I got some detail work I need to do around my eyes and my eyebrows. I look crazy. Now I'm gonna go in with a sponge and blend everything in. We're gonna conceal using our Tarte Shape Tape. Nothing new here. I'm just gonna be really careful not to get that close to my eyeshadow because I'm gonna blend it up. Normally I would have done this first and then I've done my lower lash line, but I didn't do that. So it's okay, we can still do it this way. You just have to be a little bit more precise and be careful that you're not 
you know, messing up all the blending that you did. Okay, we're gonna set using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Again, nothing new. All right, we're gonna bronze our skin and guess what we're gonna use? Butter bronzer. Contouring a little bit. This is one of my favorite brushes for a more soft contour. This is a JH05. All right, we're gonna contour the nose. I'm gonna try using a new brush. This is either gonna go good or horrible. Let's find out. Oh, that's strong. It's okay, we can blend it out, we can blend it out. All right, now we're gonna bake everything. All right, for blush, I'm going to dip into the Saharan Blush Volume 2 and we're gonna pick up the really bright pink one. We're gonna take it there. Okay, so I'm actually not gonna use my Lancome powder today. I'm just gonna go straight in and highlight using the same one that we've been using. I'm gonna bring this up into the temples since I got my hair pulled back and snatched. God, it's so weird to have matte cheeks. I always use my Lancome powder. All right, I think I'm wanting my inner corners a little bit more intense. So I'm going to go in with that highlight, except I'm going to wet it. Oh yeah, there we go. Boom, let's do some setting spray and lips. What do we wanna do for lips? I got a couple of options. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go in with this first and then top it off with the nude. This is a Cap On D liquid lipstick in the shade Lovesick. All right, I'm switching it up, you guys. I'm not using Jeffree Star Mannequin. I'm going to use Ofra Cosmetics. This is Nude Potion. I'm gonna pop that right in the center. Doop. And then for gloss, I'm gonna go in with Dose of Colors the most. Oh yeah, that's so good. Then we're gonna do a little bit of setting spray. Alrighty guys, I'm going to do some finishing touches and then I will be right back. All right guys, that concludes this Ariana Grande Seven Rings inspired makeup look. I had to throw on the most extra of extra earrings that I own and I'm feeling it right now. I got my extensions in. Feel not Ariana Grande Pony. These earrings are so heavy, oh my god. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos every single week. If you would like to follow me on my social media, I would love that. All the information will be down below and up here. And that is it for this video. I will see you in the next one, guys. Mwah! Bye. I wanna take some pictures. I'm actually happy with the way this turned out, even though it was a show at first.